NHL near-death moments. Hockey is painful. You get hit very hard. Moments of death are near. Broken bones occur. Blood, broken fingers, slit toenails, everything. And today we're going to be reacting to NHL near-death moments. Oh shit. But hey, you're the one who clicked on the video, so I suck did. it up. But to help you out along the way, I'll throw in a little palate cleanser to help what? you get through this. Actually, you know what? Let's just start off with a little palate cleanser right now. Oh, look at the little baby. You're so cute. Okay, let's get that? to the video you came here for. Here are some of the scariest near-death NHL moments. Chris Pronger. Okay, so in this play, we see Chris Pronger blocking a shot, hitting him directly in the chest, and it looks like he's trying to skate it off, but he quickly Man. drops the ice, completely out of breath, unconscious, and not responding. He took the slap shot into the chest. The trainer's out there quickly, and you can see... With that slap shot into his ribs and chest. Now I know this is serious, but I can't help but think of that song, that Bon Jovi lyric. Uh, it goes, uh, shot through Feel the heart. Where was editing this video? Can you just play that no, while don't. he gets hit in the chest? Just, he's okay. We know he's okay now. So it's, it it's not funny. funny now knowing he's okay. So let's just see if that works. Jesus. Perfect. Thanks. Hey. We'll move on from the bad jokes. Andre Pavlik. This is a scary moment for Andre Pavlik and the Atlanta Thrashers. Out of nowhere, two minutes and 25 seconds into the game, Pavlik was passed out on his back and remained motionless. It was said that he experienced a random one-time only fainting huh? spell and the contact that his head made with the ice kept him unconscious. Whoa, jeez, Louise Andre. The goalie down at the other yeah, end. Andre Pavlik is down. This oh does my not, God. oh my gosh. Oh boy. Andre Andre you know, Chai, hey. on his back. Thankfully, this was not a career ending incident. He was evaluated and in good health one month later, ready you know, to get as back soon as you, as soon as you fall down with nobody touches you, now, if that's, you the, that's like the worst ones. Blood, don't worry, we have another power I don't want the power cleanser, right brother. I want to see people nearly dying. We have you covered. So in this play, Chicago Blackhawks, Ben Eager catches his own teammate, Adam Burrish, with a skate to the throat. My God, that could have been a lot worse and easily a life or death situation. Thankfully, by I the end of watch. it, it just looked like Burrish cut himself watch. shaving. A replay you didn't see, Adam Burrish. Uh, this is terrifying. Ah, close your eyes if you don't oh, like it. Oh yeah, if you don't like it, watch yourself. Oh, the blade of Ben Eager right up against the neck, and it just grazed him. And look how close it is. His right, whole head could have come off. Here is another palate cleanser. His head could have come off. Baby, she's so cute. Good Bro, stuff, get the good babies stuff, off TV. What, All do, right, what are you doing? On. Ted Green. Okay, so here we have an old school hockey play with zero video footage. You gotta love it. So you're just gonna have to use your imaginations and follow the images and just, just do me a favor and listen. And lastly, in a stick swinging duel, Wayne Mackey of the St. Louis Blues strikes Ted Green of the Bruins in the head. Green suffers a compound skull fracture, has two brain operations, and a plate put in his head. Ah, nothing better than old school hockey. What a Just fucking swinging a stick around like it's a sword and no one, no one's life really matters. Jesus. Uh, I love the game back then. I hate that it's changed, don't you? That sarcasm, of course it's a way better game now. Trent McCleary. Now this next play is similar to the Chris Pronger incident we saw earlier in oh, this God. video. But instead of blocking <laughs> ah! a slap shot with his chest, Trent McCleary takes he a took it to the neck, neck. ladies and gentlemen. He gets out of the on the ice. He stays down until getting He's gonna be drinking soup for months. Building. He suffered a fractured larynx and a collapsed lung on the play, and it's been said that he came within minutes of dying. It got to the point where he was actually in critical condition and breathing with the help Jesus of Jesus Christ. How are you guys doing so far? I know this is a lot to process and kind of scary. No. Do you need another palate cleanser? How about this? You like this video and subscribe to this channel and I'll give you another palate cleanser. Did you do it yet? Okay, you did it. Here's another palate cleanser. Look at I do not want to see babies, brother. Get them off my TV. All right, moving on. Damon Lanko. You know, when you first hear about near-death moments in the NHL, you assume it's player on player, but as we've seen in this video, the puck is just as lethal as anyone else on that ice. Here's another block hey, shot yeah. by Damon Lanko. I'll push back to the point. Here's a shot by White. Oh, Ooh. that hit one of his teammates. Who's down? Lanko, I think. Jesus. Uh, take a quick look at it. He gets knocked Holy. down. Holy. The There's the bump. And then there's the shot and oh, right, looks like it went right off. The I can't top even of his see. Plate. The way he landed on his head coming down on the ice was not doing him hit? any favors. Thankfully, this did not turn out as bad as it could have. And Lanko only suffered a cracked bone in his back. Jesus, Rich Peverly. Bro. 
This next moment will make you feel that terrible feeling in the pit of your stomach. The tension in the arena after Rich Peverly drops unconscious on the star's bench is enough to send chills down your spine. Peverly went into cardiac arrest and emergency medical personnel immediately performed CPR and had to use a defibrillator. Thank God for their immediate G reaction or else he would be alive medical today. team, bro. Yuri Fisher. Well done. Similar to the last incident we just saw, Yuri Fisher had a seizure and collapsed on the bench. In these scary situations, the teammates and coaches become responsible for responding. And as you can see, they Holy wasted no shit. time coming to the aid of their teammate. What happened basically is uh, Fish was out in a shift. He came off. He was standing there with his teammates or sitting on the bench. And, and he had a seizure and he fell forward and then ended up on his side. And uh, right away, as soon as we got aware of what was going on we got it stopped and we had medical help right away they started doing CPR on him and his heart had stopped and there was no pulse but they hooked up the auto defibrillator is what it's called Ooh and they shot him and uh, you know the uh, heartbeat that leads to death they got that stopped and going and they continued with the CPR and our medical staff obviously did a phenomenal job you see the guy laying there and the doctors working doing what they're doing um, you're obviously concerned uh, so yeah I mean Fear for the guy's life at that moment. That's We've scary shit, bro. Like this, so it, it was shocking. That is scary, scary but shit. Like Steve said, and I said, uh, you know, thank thank goodness that uh, our doctors were nearby and sit right by our bench and were on the scene right away. Ryan Johnson. Now, with hockey being such a mm. fast-paced game, it's easy, it's to, easy lose to lose your lose your balance, and blow a tire. That's what happened in this next play with Ryan Johnson of the Vancouver Canucks. Ow. Once he collided with the boards, everyone in that arena, on ice or in the stands, they knew that play. This was recently, to be wasn't it? Immediately. No. Oh. Yeah, he was in like a fucking car. You see when the hands are like this, chat. See when the hands are like this, boys. You're fucked. That was an awkward. Ugly, You're fucked. Painful looking collision in the Red Wing zone. He's got it full speed. Nick Lidstrom. And he didn't even Ooh. touch me. He tried to get it's his insane. foot down, and it's he insane. And in that danger okay. zone, five feet from the boards, goes crashing in. Richard Zednick. Now we've already seen a player get cut by a skate, but just fair warning here: this next one is on another level. Teammate Oliokinen takes a spill, and his skate blades Same. come ah! up and accidentally slice Zednick's karate. Ah, the artery, artery got to try to get the artery, the artery, the artery, the artery, the artery, the artery. The severity of the situation and moved as fast as he could to the bench where they could help control the bleeding. There's a hit by oh, Jokic. Oh, God. Oh, boy, Zednick. Oh, my goodness. Zednick. He's bleeding bad. Richard He's Zednick is cut quick. wide open. Quick. Oh, my God. Oh, folks, this quick. is ugly. Richard Zednick is cut wide open. You know what? They oh, is that, it's his neck. What? They've got a towel on his neck. Dave Zanobi, oh. the trainer, are getting him right into the dressing room. This is, this is, this is very serious. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I kind of forgot about that one. I just want to let you guys know before we end that I stream on Twitch. If you guys like me enough to come and follow me and join our community on Twitch and chat live and play NHL together, there's a link in the pin comment. You click it one time, and that's all you got to do. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching this point. It means a lot. Feel free to watch any other of my videos that involve people getting hurt. And I'm sure it'll brighten up your day. See you later.